Hi everyone, I'm still on the Delhi paper hunt. Um, after the last video that I uploaded about the comparison between the um, US Delhi paper and the Australian Delhi paper, a lady called Julianne Hoffman made a comment under that video that I did saying that she gets her Delhi paper or someone else sells it on their site, um, someone else on YouTube. So she directed me to Mimi Bondi's here, Mimi Bondi on um, YouTube. She has a, um, a store called Mixed Media Art Supplies for Aussies and in it she sells deli paper and, and I asked Mimi whether it was the same because she says um, in one of her videos that it's the same that the US gets and she gets it from a US supplier. So I thought okay well I'll buy a 10 sheet pack and see what it's like because I thought I could see wax on it. And anyway so I got it and that's it there and there's wax on it. Not as much as on the one here from the Thread Studio, but it's still waxy. You've got a rough, well, you know, non-wax surface there, and then the wax surface here, so it's got the shiny side. It's about just a little bit bigger than the Australian side, but nowhere near what I think and what my art buddies have said to me because I showed them all and they said this is the one that they use. Okay, so not this one that Mimi sells. Some of you may well use this over in the States. But this is the one that I am trying to get a hold of. And the one that all my art friends use anyway. Um, and it's big enough to go on the larger um, jelly so that's what I want I'm still on the search for it however having said that I thought right there wasn't as much wax on this one from Mimi's store so I thought I'd go ahead and test it out now I also thought, thought bought a stamp set there while I was there because as you do you know because uh, I love this um, this one here I don't think I have any angel stamps and that looks a really good one to colour, spray, paint, whatever. Um, so I did that and I thought, okay, well, because this is the page that um, I did the comparison, or well, one of the comparisons on, um, with the US, US wax, uh, oh, sorry, US, the non-wax deli paper and the wax deli paper. So, what I'm going to do now is cut these out and adhere them. So I'll use this one over here and then I'll use the US one down here. Okay, somewhere like this so that they're near, you know, near a few things there. So what I'm going to do first is cut them out and then adhere them on so I'll fast forward you through that. So now I'm just going to adhere them all to the page with some Liquitex matte medium fluid. So this one here belongs to this one which was the um, uh, the Australian wax deli paper that I 
both of those are so but this is the Australian because it's got the lines waxed lines on it this one down here is the US um, deli paper and this is the US um, wax deli paper that Mimi sells at her shop so I'm just gonna here these down now now I think I might just cut off the end of this so that it doesn't overlap the other one. I just shouldn't actually cut it because you can see the um, it's going to overlap the dream word there a bit but that's okay. Alright, I'll be back when I've done this. Okay, I must admit that the Mimi's deli, Wax Deli paper is less visible than the Thread Studios Wax Deli paper, which is less visible, well, uh, much the same, I guess. Well, I think slightly less visible than the US non-wax deli paper all right so how do they compare when you try and blend them in or paint over them so I think what I want to do first is maybe paint over them so I'll be back so I started painting the angels with some twinkling H2O's but because they were oh because it was um on the deli paper like on matte medium it, they were just pooling so i'm just using some acrylic paint now we just want not a lot of color just a hint of color and i'm just using a um flesh tint i think this one is yeah flesh tint for the, the skin so I'll just put you on fast forward while I do this. really does not like to go over that Mimi's um, wax deli paper very very blotchy I think the best one was the Thread Studios paper and that's the um, non-wax deli paper okay
Alright, I'll take close-up pics of them for you. But now, if you can, if, okay, I'll zoom out a little bit because with this Mimi's Wax Deli paper, you can barely see where it's cut or where it's torn. It's really good. I like that. Um, with the Thread Studios Wax Deli paper, you can see it. Now, it may be because of the colour of the paint. I don't know, because I'm going to go over it and try and blend it in again with the other colours that I used in the background. But, it's still a bit noticeable. Um, not as more noticeable than the Mimi's waxed um, paper, deli paper. But if you look at this USA deli paper, you can actually see it quite clearly, pretty much all around it. So, at a distance, not too bad, but you get up close and you can see there. the edges of where that deli paper is cut. Not so much down here because of the way that that's the background is. Now this one is Mimi's. Now you can barely tell where that paper is torn. But on Dales at the Thread Studio, you can actually tell there in certain areas, not all areas, but certain areas, that it's where the paper ends and the paint is. So, okay. That's good to know. Right, next step. Oh, um... Dale's waxed paper seems to, it was a bit blotchy, um, it's not too bad, you can still see the blue in the background, um, that was the Thread Studios wax deli paper, Mimi's wax deli paper, not too good on the paler colours there, it sort of pooled a bit and wasn't the best didn't spread too well but having said that I think to paint on the US non wax deli paper is the best um, Dale's comes in a second to paint on and then Mimi's a th the last but in transparency I would say Mimi's wax deli paper is number one then comes Dale's and then comes the US now Having said all that, remember when I was um, watering the outside of the images on each sheet? Far and above the best is the US Deli paper. It just pulls away like butter where it was wet and leaves the other behind. Whereas with the wax deli paper, because the water doesn't penetrate as well, and that's why I think that the... Um, the paints and water pooled on the um, wax deli paper. Much easier to paint with the non-waxed paper, the US paper, deli paper, than the other two. So I'm going to now try and blend those in a little bit more just to see if you can notice the difference where they're blended after that step. I'll be back.
Hmm, I guess it's each to their own. I'd still like to get a hold of the US Delhi paper because I still think that um, I prefer that rather than wax paper. I don't know after time how that's going to go. Actually, I wonder if I could colour in there. Probably not. You know what I could do? See how the dream, the background of it is not coming through? Especially in the um, wax thread studio wax deli paper. Um, I reckon if we spray that before we stamp it, it might be okay. Like spray it with the colours that you use for the background. Hmm. Each to their own, I think. Um, they've all got their own merits, I think. Um, just in like the way that the Mimi's wax paper um, reacted when I painted on it. This one, the US. Um, deli paper works brilliantly painted on it um, but I also think the Thread Studio get the paint on it painting on it was a lot better than Mimi's anyway that's it I think I'm still on the search for the US deli paper I don't want wax I don't think got enough of it now I might as well use it though okay thanks for watching guys and I'll be back bye